Welcome to the Art of Delegation, where we share specific tasks you can delegate to your VA. In previous episodes, we introduced graphic design and how you can delegate tasks to a virtual marketing assistant that can perform in this role. Now let's flip the script and go over to the administrative side. Today, we talk about delegating email, something so important, it can rule part of our lives as professionals. Let's get started. An administrative VA can perform many tasks within the range of their ability to assist you and your business. But how do you delegate email? Let's break it down. First, you need to establish to what degree you will rely on them. You need to set up a system that will allow you to manage your inbox collaboratively. This can be achieved by setting up limits in terms of what to answer and how, and what to forward to you. Explain the criteria to determine urgent matters and not so urgent so they know when to notify you. Second, keep in mind you're delegating this because you want to get rid of time sucks. You know, those things that are getting in the way of having enough time to think and to spend on high level items. Once your VA has a clear picture of how to, try not to circle back and keep losing time micromanaging or looking over your VA's shoulder while they handle your email for you. Third, last but not least, did you know GSU has a precise guide on how to delegate email in the form of a resource? You can download it right here. With our free Taming the Email Monster Guide, you'll receive an extra boost on delegating email, just as so many other lawyers have across America. Learn the collaborative email delegation system and regain control of your time. Keep it simple. Remember that the process for efficient delegation can take time. And with something as personal and important as email, you need to take your time to communicate your preferred ways of response to your VA. Allow them a couple of mistakes in the beginning because you know practice makes perfect. The devil is in the details. It's key to show how your email needs to be prioritized and teach how should your VA use your voice and in what specific scenarios. Also understand there's not only one answer to how email should be delegated. There are many ways to get there and we're presenting some, but you need to go with whatever best suits you and your VA. The important thing here is that you'll gain back a big chunk of your time by delegating this task. We trust today's episode was helpful. It would mean the world to us if you share this with a friend. Just ask yourself, who really needs to delegate email? For them and for yourself, don't forget to grab your free resource Want to know how to delegate a task? Let us know in the comments. Feel free to like and subscribe and see you next time for an all new episode on the art of delegation.